Hello and welcome to The Bike Show. Later in this episode, we'll be featuring another in our regular series of car versus bike, which you may remember, because we certainly do, that the bikes have absolutely trounced the cars every single time. Surely it will be another easy victory for the bike. Hopefully. But first, it's endurance racing time again, and these two brave gentlemen have been at Red Star Raceway. Even if you don't like the idea of endurance racing, I recommend that you watch this. The action is hectic, even a little explosive. The 2017 endurance racing series is about to start here at Red Star with a three hour endurance race. And for the third season running, we will be racing this, our faithful Suzuki GSX S1000F. Now we've always punted the endurance racing series as the cheapest and most fun way of going racing. But a lot of you have written in and said, it can't be that cheap. You must have done so much to this bike to make it race worthy. Well, have a look at this. This is a standard GSX S1000F and this is the race bike. Now, you're probably gonna say, well, there's a lot of difference. Well, actually there isn't. We've taken the mirrors off, we've changed the exhaust, we've put some rear sets on, and that's about it, actually. Really, I mean, we've lowered the suspension slightly at the front on this one to make it a bit quicker to turn in. We've lock-wired everything that needs to be lock-wired, the calipers, filler caps, and so on. Uh, we've put a Yoshimura pipe on this, which has taken away the catalytic converter, so a little less weight. We've done a little bit of mapping to the ECU, and that is about it. This is as stock as you can get to go racing with. The original bike puts out about 145 brake horsepower. Our race bike puts out about 145 brake horsepower. So we really have spent absolutely nothing in order to go racing. So it's about time we get on with the race series, and it's the three hour to start with. It's the start of a new season, and old hands that we are at this endurance racing lock, spirits are high and expectations are low. Any confidence we might have is tempered by knowledge and experience gained in previous races, and the cruel twists fate has had in store for us. But racing is like a drug. Once tasted, you simply can't walk away. There is always something higher to aim for, a better performance to put in, if fate will be kind to us, that is. In endurance racing, you need two things. Riders who can bring the bike home in one piece while still being fast enough to stay in the race, and a bike that can get home in one piece while still being fast enough to win the race. In short, reliability. In over 100 hours of being thrashed mercilessly, the Suzuki has been incredibly reliable, and it still is, if it can be allowed to drink its fuel. A few laps into the race, and we're in trouble. Got a problem in the tank, the retainer in the fuel tank is locked. So we quickly need to take it out. Could be of old fuel or any crap that went in there. So we need to solve that because there's snakes into the corners and we don't want to repeat what happened last year now. Tank off, pump out. This is all costing us precious laps. Actually, Don's not too bothered. We've got MotoGP qualifying to watch, and the longer the repair takes, the more of it Don, who is out next, will see. But Doug gets it all put back together, while Don acts all philosophical before he heads back out and into the fray. You know, it's funny, every time there's a disaster, something might catch fire, they always send me up next. Once back in the race, the bike is running as sweetly as ever. And remember, our Suzuki is as stock as you can possibly get. Yet it continues to take the thrashing that's handed out to it. All we can hope for is an incident-free race from now on for our team and hope that others run into trouble so that we can claw back a few of the laps lost early in the race. It all seems to be going to plan. The bike is running well and the half-hour stints click past quickly. One more refuel, and we should get to the end. As I come in, Yaku is ready with the fuel churn to top up the tank. We can finish this race. What can possibly go wrong? Underneath! 
Thankfully, no one is seriously hurt. That could have been really nasty. The bike is a mess, but Yaku, ever the optimist, decides to give it a try. It seems that these Suzukis can take a lot of punishment. Surely that is our race done. The bike sits forlornly in the pit garage, not looking quite as pristine as it was at the start of the race. But we and the bike are determined to finish this race, and in a cloud of extinguisher dust, Yaku sets off into the sunset. At three hours, this has been the shortest endurance race ever, but you could say we've had our fair share of excitement. Not without some trepidation, Don sets out for the last stint of the day. But he needn't have worried. As the shadows lengthen and the minutes tick by, the Suzuki defies the odds and finishes the race. Your mechanic's very brave and everything for holding on to the bike, but I, I'm pretty sure to... I saw him start to fight the fire like that. I think it was his, <laughs> his, his first reaction was to try and blow it out using his own breath. It's slightly deluded, but he was thinking. He's though. using the power of wind and optimism. The <laughs> <laughs> only dose of optimism, and I'm not joking, that was pretty brave to hold on to, hold on to the, the bike. Guy. He actually got burnt a little bit, didn't he? He did, actually. Yeah. There was some mild bandage, you know, here and there. Mild bandaging. Yeah. But yeah, yeah it, was, it, was, it was impressive how he kept hold of it, because the fire, the first extinguisher, it just blew the flames one way. <laughs> <laughs> it around that way, and it just blew the flames back the other way. So, oh, no. It was truly epic, multiple camera angles. The cameraman there, I noticed, uh, did a runner immediately, but then turned <laughs> his camera back on, as any normal human being would we do. We all did. We all just scattered, apart from Doug, who just left suddenly it was like, fire extinguisher, anybody? You know? <laughs> well, I'm genuinely interested... Look, we spill fuel all the time over the tanks, don't we? That was quite a lot, I it have to was. say. But what, what is it that set it off, then? Well, I think it was literally as he pressed the starter button. Did I think it was like a spark in the starter motor or something like that? Because okay, fuel had gone all the way down. It was okay. just a little spark in that way. I mean, it was just instant, though. Did you see how it was? Yeah, because Doug, who pushed the starter, was busy looking at wheel weights and all kinds of things. Didn't quite realise that there was all this fuel all over the place. So yeah. he went and pushed the starter button. So actually, it was Yaku's fault again. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Gentlemen, I mean, I... I don't mean to gloat or anything, but, you know, as soon as I'm not there, what is it that happens? You set fire to yourselves. Ah, True, but ah, as soon as you're ah. not there, we not only finish the race, but... You finish the race, yes. Yes. Finish happen. the race, yes. Yeah. How many trophies do we get when you're and with that, us? Hang on, let me just read this. Um, Three-hour endurance class B first. 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 Yes. So, just out of interest, did anyone pick up the trophies for second and third? Well, anyway, moving along. Yeah, um, <laughs> it was a great race, and I really would recommend that. No. Yes. But we were actually first in a class of um, one by one. one. Yeah. Well done, you're still first. And yeah. last. In fact, yeah. we've got, we should have got three times, first, second and third, actually. Uh, I'm amazed then, a, a, lot, a lot of the burning was obviously just kind of surface the fumes coming off, because you rode it, I mean, what was broken, if anything? The, si the seats slightly melted on the edges and the side panels were a little bit sort of... I've got to be honest, Yaku, who brave and from Richards Bay, went down at the first, I had to go out at the second, and I'm pretty sure it felt slightly better the second <laughs> time after a slight fire. Okay, but that's not a modification that we generally no, recommend. Don't, don't recommend that, no. <laughs> uh, I have to say, very well done, lads. Uh, finished, got a prize, went through some drama. Are you put off yet? Are you scared? Or are you going to do it again? I think we have to, because we're leading yeah. the championship now in Class no, we're B. I'm thinking we've had a fire. What about like a light explosion or something proper? Or just, 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 to, just you know? it is a way to bikes. enliven the viewing spectacle that is the endurance <laughs> racing championship. <laughs> anyway, talking of spectacles, after the break, car versus bike, bring it on.